This week, the Australian Bureau of Statistics found groceries like fruit and vegetables had risen by a 5.8% since the start of the year and meat and seafood products by around 4.8%. Now, growing your own food is something we can all do to help save money in the long term, as well as reaping the many physical and mental health benefits that come with it. Joining me live now is Simon Holloway, who is the Global Marketing Director of VeggiePod. Simon, good morning to you. Thanks so much for your time. VeggiePod is one way of many to grow your own produce. Talk us through it. Yeah, good morning. Well, look, I mean, you can grow vegetables pretty well in, in any space these days with, with various units. Um, and as you mentioned before, uh, a, a very contemporary topic at the moment is indeed the costs. But there are a plethora of other reasons of why we should be growing food at home, uh, such as uh, mental health, uh, getting outside, moving the body, vitamin D, uh, getting the kids away from the screen, uh, getting more green time out of screen time. So look, uh, we're out here to really passionately get everybody growing their own food at home. Now, Simon, what are the best and most affordable vegetables to plant and enjoy now, no matter how much space you have? Say you could go from a tiny balcony courtyard mm. or to a big backyard. Yeah, look, well, it's a, it's a lot of those staple uh, fruit and veg these days that seem to be getting... Uh, it, really expensive, isn't it? I, mean, I think, as you mentioned before, costs have gone right up. I believe it's uh, the highest in 11 years. Uh, I was just at one of the uh, big supermarkets earlier this week, and lettuces, one lettuce head, $6, a cauliflower head, $8. I mean, these aren't exotics by any means. Uh, chilies, uh, it was a 20-gram packet for three. Uh, it was $3. I mean, that works out as $150 a kilo. Uh, it's really exorbitant. So those ones that I just mentioned, very easy to grow. You can grow them most of the time throughout the year. Uh, something like this unit here, it's only two metres by one metre, but we've had uh, 70 lettuce heads, uh, seven up, 10 across. And those 70 lettuce heads, if you times that by, say, $6, as I mentioned before, seven, six is 42, $420, People can get their money back on a very basic staple veg uh, within one season. So, look, it's not hard to do, and we can certainly uh, fight inflation at home by doing these uh, grow your food at home. Now, what is your advice for setting up a home vegetable garden, no matter what your budget is? Yeah, well, look, I mean, it's, it's not that hard. If you could contain it, great. That means you don't have to dig up your yard necessarily, or if you've only got... Uh, contain places with a hard deck or a concrete down the side of your house. If you have a, a contained raised garden bed, um, something like the veggie pod, then you can really put them anywhere as long as you've got good sun and good soil. Uh, get your vegetables growing. You can grow all year round. Most people sort of tend to think, oh, it's just for a spring and a summer. But look, we have winter vegetables that are only grown in winter. So we urge everybody to start growing now. Uh, there's no better time, in fact, than even in these months of the year. Simon, let's talk about the cost of buying vegetables. You touched on it earlier. It is an 11-year mm. high right now versus mm. setting up your own home vegetable garden or a small veggie patch. How yes. much can you save money-wise in the long term? Yeah, well, look, I, mean, I don't want to sound like I'm biased, but <laughs> so, look, we had uh, the University <laughs> of Western Sydney, uh, which was uh, by Wade Porsche, did a study, unsolicited from us, mind you, and she proved with her major piece study, that within one year you could get your money back on a standard bed uh, like the veggie pod here. So, look, and that's only in, in, in one year. So you can imagine it's not, it's not a one-off situation, right? That's then ongoing, year after year. So it's not uh, uh, rocket science to understand how you can get your money back quickly and indeed save money over the long term. Simon, you are standing in front of what I believe is a veggie pod there. How do we purchase one? Oh, look, there are plenty throughout uh, independent garden centres and wider tents throughout Australia, so you can go on our website and look for stockers there. They're certainly welcome to get it off us uh, directly as well. Uh, look, we're proudly Australian born and bred uh, and, uh, yeah, really available all around. So if you just jump on our website, veggiepod.com.au, uh, they're all there for, uh, available for everybody. Simon Holloway, the Global Marketing Director of VeggiePod, thanks so much for your time this morning. My pleasure. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us.